Hello. How Hi, morning. Amy. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> nice to hear your voice again. I know. Nice to hear your voice as well. How are you? How's Jordan this morning? Uh, it's okay. Actually, I live in Saudi Arabia. Oh, you're from Jordan, but you're living in Saudi Arabia, right? Yes. Um, yes. got you, got you. So, um, what are you doing in Saudi Arabia? Are you working, obviously? Are you studying? Uh, no, I, I am, I'm working now. You're working? I'm yes, I'm software programmer. Oh, wow, that's a really difficult job, programmer. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I done computers um, years ago for my degree, and I had to do programming. It was so difficult. Oh my God, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I had to get my I had to get my friend to assist me in doing the program. It's a very difficult job. I couldn't do yeah. it. No. <laughs> uh, actually, it's uh, uh, I love to program. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do something as documentations. Mm -hmm. Or um, something. Uh, it's just uh, as res researches. Mm -hmm. I no. I just like to uh, stay alone with my laptop and mm -hmm. my codes mm -hmm. and uh, doing some testings and uh, see the results. I like it actually. I yeah, really it, love it. It it is it is nice, you know, when you finally actually finish the whole program and code yeah. and something works and it's like you've achieved something. Yes, you know. Actually, uh, uh, we here assist uh, a lots of uh, students uh -huh. uh, in universities for their projects, uh -huh. as you are, I think. Okay. Yes, and uh, that help us uh, and improve ourselves also, because in universities, uh, doctors give them new uh, languages, a new. Um, subjects to do it mm -hmm. and if we stay just taking uh, the all the stuff we study it it mm -hmm. will be stop at this point and we will not improve ourselves wow okay yeah it must be very difficult to teach programming <laughs> i wouldn't want I, to I do don't that teach. Job. <laughs> it must it's hard to teach oh definitely uh, oh it must yeah. be really difficult uh, when they ask me some students to, to describe the cause, I give them just outlines mm -hmm. and comments about that, but not the whole the codes line by line. It's so, so difficult. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Oh, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> but you stick to your programming and your own computer, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, so what's the weather like in Saudi now? Is it getting um, colder now or is it still hot? Yes, it's so hot. Actually, I live in Jeddah. Oh. It's so hot. Oh, I can imagine. Apparently, it's hotter there than Riyadh. They yes. were saying, yeah. Oh, wouldn't want to. <laughs> so you guys, but you guys have aircon, so it's not so bad. You know, you just don't step out in the heat. <laughs> Yes, we all the time uh, don't go to, uh, get out and walking at the streets, no. Yeah. Uh, we go shopping at the malls. Yeah. And a uh, lot of in the, uh, entertainments uh, make it in at the malls. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we will not. But the sea is there. A lot of people like to... Um, to... Go swimming? Walk at the sea. <laughs> No, not swimming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, would want yes. to go swimming. I would want to go swimming. I've got my burqa, so not my burqa. It's like burkini, they call it. You know, if it's the whole outfit, hijab outfit, and it's like yes. every, everything is covered from head to toe. You know. Yes, but it's so odd in Saudi Arabia. Really? Like, <laughs> really? Yes, for women. Yes, oh it's my, so odd. Oh my god. And <laughs> uh, maybe in Egypt, or oh, it's okay in yes. Jordan. Yes. Yeah. But in Saudi Arabia, uh, they will uh, take photos for you and uh, spread it on the internet, Facebook. Oh, this is the woman. Really? <laughs> they would do that? Oh, my God. <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> oh, my God. And what's the consequence there? Like, what? Like it would be all over the internet of you swimming, maybe. Yes. <gasps> you will be the famous. 
Perfect. Oh my god! And here is isn't there any like um, seclusions like for women? Like secluded beaches just for women? Yes, uh, there is actually um, I don't know uh, the name. It's uh, like uh, you can rent uh, um, a villa or uh, a small apartment mm -hmm. at the beach. Mm -hmm. It's for your own uh, to to swim and um, uh, with your family. Right. Yes, but I don't know actually the word in English. Uh, it's like small houses at the beach. A villa, yeah. It's like a little apartment villa they call yes. it. Yeah. We yes. we stayed at a villa in Egypt. In um, is it North Coast? We went there with my friend and his family had a villa. So we rented the villa out and we had the whole beach to ourselves. It was amazing. <laughs> yes. Yes. You can do it like this. Yeah, but mm, be careful. Sweet. Maybe some some guys sneak in and take a picture also. Oh my God, these men go away. <laughs> yes, that's but so actually weird. there is some uh, whole of um, uh, projects. Uh, um, they control that uh, uh, lots of women there can describe their uh, can take off their. And cover and uh, walking. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's yes. I've heard of these places. I think they have one in Egypt like this. I'm not sure. No, it's in Egypt. It's an open world. It's okay mm. if you do it at uh, if you didn't uh, cover your hair. Mm -hmm. But here yes. it's uh, it's an odd. Uh, it's not uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, I think convenient is the right. Yes, yes. allowed in a way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Because my places uh, where it's open. Uh, it's open. It's open. They don't, yes, they didn't. They don't. Uh, actually, they ask people do not cover their hair, uh, their uh, faces, because mm. that uh, will uh, uh, cause. Uh, co yes, that cause problems for them. They mm -hmm. don't. Uh, they just. If you want, uh, uh, cover your hair just only, but mm -hmm. your face no. Don't cover it. Ah, okay. My auntie is working in Riyadh. Okay, and um, she's loving it. She loves wearing the abayas and everything. She enjoys wearing the abayas. She gets the beautiful black ones, you know, with the little yeah. diamonds stuck onto it. So yes. she's liking it there, yeah. So she's gonna maybe take me over. I'm hopefully gonna go over for a visit one day, and I get to see Riyadh. So yes, it's so nice. I know. Uh, I'm just dying to go. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, does she covering her hair? Yes, she has to, cause Riyadh. Uh, yeah, she has to. Yes. Yes. She, she has to wear uh, the abayas as well. Yes, the abaya yeah. is uh, actually, uh, you must uh, wear it in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't cover uh, your hair. A lot mm -hmm. of Americans here are and uh, from European. We can saw them in the beach, in the malls. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, Lebanons, they cannot, uh, a lot of uh, people, uh, mm -hmm. they don't cover their hair. It's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they must all wear a bias. Oh, a bias, yes. yes. Well, yeah, well, she's got really nice a bias, beautifully bias, so I'm going to yes, try and buy some and lots, purchase. Uh, <laughs> yes, a lot. Uh, my sister lives in the uh, United States. Uh, she all the time asking us to buy to buy uh, a bias. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They yes. look really nice. The, oh, I only yes. have one a bias from Saudi, but I want another one because they're so pretty. And I like wearing. They're so comfortable to wear. I just can wear them all day. Yes, it's so comfortable the and best it's thing so ever. nice. And a lots of uh, uh, fish, uh, um, fashion in mm. in it. Yes. And uh, it's uh, open kinds. A lots of colors also. Oh wow! Oh, I'm gonna yes. be in heaven when I go there with all these yes. variety of abayas. Oh my God! My husband would. Kill me because I'm spending so much money on a bias. 
<laughs> well, listen, Amy, well, let's get start with the lesson, okay? okay. Um, it's just me and you today, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a very uh, quiet lesson, but it's okay. It's just me and you. Now, today, Amy, we're going to be talking about, um, well, the topic is TV and film. And we're going to talk about the most memorable movies of all time. So we're going to talk about the funniest, fascinating, thrilling, and emotional movies that have come out over the years. Do you watch movies yourself, Emmy? Uh, yes. Yeah. I watch a lots of new movies. What type of movies do you watch? Do you watch um, the, um, Arab movies? Do you watch American mm -hmm. movies? No, all the time it's uh, American English movies. Oh, that's good. Yes. Good, good for learning the English and practicing on your English yes. as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that. But first, we're going to do a little warmer question. Okay. And the first question. Now, this is a very strange question. Okay. And um, what do you want to watch before you die? Now, the grammar is articles. So we're going to be doing articles today. What is the meaning of articles? Articles. Okay, so articles we have the, an, and a. And we're going to go into, there are three articles that we use for speaking and writing. And there are certain rules when we should use them and when we shouldn't. So we're going to go through that after so you can have a look at what they um, are produced in the sentences, okay? Um, just a little quick question. So what do you want to watch before you die, Emmy? Very, very weird, strange okay. question. <laughs> so let's just think, you know you're going to die, okay? And um, I, know, I know you're going to be doing other things before you die as well. Um, but just like a little question to work on the articles. Um, <laughs> so in, any type of movie you would like to watch just to kind of calm you down um, you know mm. what do you think <laughs> <laughs> it's so odd actually because uh, you know our religion it's yes uh, yes I yes. know what you mean yes I know what yes. you're gonna say yeah yeah okay uh, actually I will choose if I must choose I wanna choose um, a history movie Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good choice. Yeah. And why is that? Um, actually, the movies uh, in history, it makes us um, remember a lot of things. Uh -huh. And it's uh, uh, yeah, most of the time about reality things happened mm -hmm. uh, for, from a long time. Um, maybe it makes improve ourselves. Yes. But uh, I will die soon. I don't know. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really good. Actually. You know, I will. Good I want to watch any movies that can make me not to die. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. No, I definitely agree with you there. No, but I think history is a good choice because you're just looking at the past and you know what really happened in this world before we came about, and it's good to know your history. It really is. It's like educational. Yes. And in our religion, we have to learn about education. It's very important. We have to educate yes. ourselves. So it's good. That's a very good choice, Emmy. Okay, so let's jump on to the grammar, shall we? Okay. okay. So now you're dying to know what these articles are, right? Okay, let me screen share. You always say it all the time. You're always saying the, you're saying a, you're saying an. So you say it in everyday life. Now let me just screen share this. Two seconds, Emmy. Okay. Now done. Let me know when it pops up. Can you see it? Yes. Oh, excellent. Okay. Shall I make it bigger for you, Emmy? Is it too small? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. How's that now? Is that better? Takes a couple of seconds for it to show on your screen. Mm. Uh, can you make it, uh, zoom it also? A bit bigger. Okay. okay. Yes. Take a second. That's okay. Yeah. Better? Okay, yes. good. So, first we're going to talk about um, the. Okay. So, the before nouns known to everyone or just the people speaking. So, this is the most general rule. So, the rule about using the. 
Okay. Yeah. Other rules are listed below. So it's used for singular and plural nouns. So we have an example of the teacher, the students, etc. Can you give me an example of using the? So we have the teacher, the students. Uh, the school. The school, very good, yes. The building, Anything else? Uh, the house. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. The car. So these are, yeah, the car. So these are examples of using the. Okay, so like I say, you use it in everyday life, okay? Yes. A topic that's been introduced in conversation. So we have, so the guy says, where's the beef? So we're using it in conversation as well, all the time. Mm. So when you are referring to the earth, sun, and moon, they are not capitalized, okay? So, of course, we have the capital T because it's at the start of the sentence. But when we have the middle and end, we don't have a capital, okay? Mm. Um, so we have the earth, the moon, the sun. People on earth have built magnificent cities, not the earth. A class of people, the rich, the poor, the young, the educated, etc. Large bodies of water, such as rivers, oceans, and seas, such as the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Nile River, the China Sea, the Great Lakes. So there is a collection of lakes, okay? Have you been to the Nile River before, Amy? Uh, yes. Yeah, you went there. So you have been to Egypt. Yes, you go to Egypt? I visit Egypt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you think of it? Nice country, yes. huh? Yes, it's very nice country, yeah. actually. Yeah, it's very sad what's happening there, though. Yes, it's very sad what's really happening. Really sad. Yes. Uh, you know, we just left when Morsi got elected, when the president got elected last year. Mm -hmm. So we left Egypt just in time because I was working there for two years oh. teaching English. And I decided to come back to the UK. Hi, Osama. How are you? Osama! Are you there? Okay, you'll probably say hi anyway, Emmy. Um, okay, so Emmy, so let's move on to the next part. Okay, um, just uh, a question before we go. Uh, yes, why the earth? Yes. Why we didn't? We don't use the with the earth. Not the earth. Um, well, it's just this sentence here. You don't use uh -huh. the earth, so you can't say people on the, on earth. the earth. You have to say people on earth. Yeah. People on uh -huh. Earth. Yeah, so you yes, use but on the earth instead of in them. In other uh, sentences, we can use it. Yes, yes. There. But this one, especially, uh, okay. no. Yeah, just this okay. one. Okay. okay. Um, so where were we? Okay, so we're looking at the, the water, rivers, oceans, and seas. Okay, so let's have a look at the mountain ranges. So we have, for example, the Rockies, the Swiss Alps, etc. And then we have the forests, deserts. Peninsulas and gulfs, and then the island of chains. So we have the Hawaiian Islands, the Canary Islands. So before names of political and government entities that are followed of by a name, we have the United States of America, the United Kingdom, or the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, etc. Certain countries, but never before a country with only one name. So we have the Netherlands the United Kingdom, the Dominican Republic, and the Philippines, okay? And then we have points on a globe. So the Tropic of Cancer, the North Pole, the Equator. So these are just using examples of using the, okay, Emmy? Okay. Of different ways how you can use it, all right? Um, so let's have a look at A and an, okay? A an. So when we use a and an before singular nouns not known to and everyone. So a is used before nouns starting with a consonant sound. So we have an is used before nouns starting with a vowel sound. So used when introducing a new topic. I saw a horse today. She has a new purse. Can you give me another sentence, Emmy, with a? Um. Just any sentence. 
Uh, could I try? Hi. Hi, Osama. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good morning. I'm good, Osama. It's good to see you on here. Good to see you too. Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better now? I'm sick wise. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's good. Emmy, uh, this is Osama, if you haven't seen him on here before. Uh, yes, so, I saw him before. Oh, you so, Hi, Osama. So you guys, you guys know each other then? Uh, yeah, I think Emmy's kind of new to Congo, I guess. Yes. Okay, I know how I uh, met me. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys know each other then, okay. Okay, Asama, it's just, I'll let Emmy uh, do an example first and then you're more than welcome to um, say it after her. So, okay. Emmy, do you want Asama to go first or do you want to... Yes, yes okay. please. Okay, Asama, you want to go first then with your sentence? Okay. Uh, cell phone uh, in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Good. I saw a phone in my pocket. Mm -hmm. That's one. Okay. Do you have another one? Okay. Uh, an apple uh, is a is a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. Yeah. Okay. So you said an apple. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I didn't get the rest of the sentence. An apple? Is that a visual thing? Is that what? Sorry? I'm deaf today, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. In the fridge? Yeah. Is in the fridge? Okay. Did you say in the fridge? In the fridge, I guess. Uh, can you type it in the chat box? Sorry, I didn't get that last bit. Okay. I apologize for my awful hearing. Okay, Emmy, did you manage to create a nice yes. sentence? Oh, good. Mm. Uh, I hear the story about fiction. Okay. Mm. I hear the story about fiction. Uh huh. Mm. Okay, very good, Osama. An apple in the fridge. That's what I thought it was, yeah. I am going deaf. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's have a look again at some more. So before singular countable nouns, guys, we have a cat, a park, an elephant, etc. Before number words, we have a couple, a dozen, a hundred, a million. In quantity expressions, we have a few cars, a little milk, a bunch of candy, etc. So any questions on a, uh, using a? Uh? We're always using a, uh, aren't we? So I think everyone is used to using a. Uh. Okay, let's have a look at an, an, okay. So you will not use an article before certain nouns, okay? Um, I want milk. Courage is important, etc. Before plural nouns, I want two eggs. I saw two horses today. I visited China. I traveled to Russia. Names of streets and avenues. 10th Street, 10th Avenue, North America, Africa, Asia, etc. So you will not use an article before certain nouns. And these are examples when we don't use the articles, guys. So we will not use the, we will not use a, and we will not use an. So these are some examples of when not to use them. So we have names of continents, we don't use them. Names of streets, we don't use them. Cities, towns, and states, we don't use them. Most countries, we don't use them. We have the I, okay. And then for plural nouns, we don't use them either. And before non-countable nouns, we don't use them either. Okay. Um, do we have any questions in regards to an? Can I ask you guys a question? So when do we use an? Does anyone know the ruling of when we use an? A n. Yes, I with the uh, with vowels. Mhm. Mm Good. Yeah. And 
Can you remember what the vowels were, Amy? And A O E U. It's five yeah. letters. A O E U. You, okay, can you type them in, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Asama, did you want to say something as well? Yes. No, the, yes, no, Amy. Just the same, yeah. Just the same. Okay. Thank you, Amy, for that. Excellent. So you guys know the ruling behind Anne, when we should use it. Okay, good, good, good. Any anyone have any questions with these um articles? No. No. I think Osama, you've gone through this, haven't you, before with me, I think. I think you have, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's move on. If we have no questions. We can move on. Actually, I think I will give you a task before we move on to the next part of the lesson. Okay, can I get you guys to think of three sentences, okay, when we link a, an, and the. So we're linking the three articles together to make a sentence. So you can make a little, not a story, but, you know, something like a story. What happened to you maybe yesterday, the day before, um, something in relation to that. So if it's possible, you can use the three articles with your sentence. Okay? Okay, guys, do we understand? Yeah. Okay, but can we have a minute? Of course I will give you a minute. Yes, I'll give you two minutes, Emmy. Okay. Uh, I can go. Oh, you're quick, Osama. <laughs> uh, okay, Osama, go on ahead. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I traveled uh, to the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I saw a beautiful uh, tree over, over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got to my uh, hotel. Uh, I ate uh, an orange. Oh wow, very good. Excellent, Sama. You didn't even have to think of that when you just kind of, you know, they were coming out of your head, right? <laughs> <laughs> they were just flowing out straight away. <laughs> Very good, Osama. That's a very excellent sentence. A little story I think, there. I think maybe it's kind of that thing when we mix up things like uh, uh, I think when we use it before a certain thing and not music. I think like that. It's kind of hard to. Uh, yes, that's right. It is difficult. Things. It is. It is. But you just have to remember that rule of using the an, and you know that already. Yeah. So, because a lot of people make that mistake. Um, they don't follow that rule with a n, you know. So you have to remember that rule. I find a lot of people have that difficulty with using the an. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Okay. So Emmy, are you finished? I'll, I'll give you a few more minutes, or are you okay? No, uh, it's okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Yesterday, I saw a TV show about India. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it has a lot of uh, green yards. Uh, I would like to visit it. What an awesome country. <laughs> oh, very good. What an awesome country. I like that one, too. Very good, guys. Very good, Emmy. Good imaginative uh, mind mm. there. <laughs> Okay, so listen guys, let's quickly move on. You guys have a great understanding of the grammar, so I don't have to go into it. So today we're going to look at um, the most memorable movies. Now, it's not an article, it's just a list of movies that we can go through and talk about together, if you like the movie or not. Um, so I will screen share this document as well, okay. Um, just give me a minute, guys. Okay. Okay. So let me know when you guys have it up there. You guys see it now, yeah? Yeah, but it's kind of small. Yes, I'll make it bigger. Don't you worry, Osama. <laughs> Hang on two seconds. There you go. 
that better? Big enough? Bigger? Mama. <laughs> oh my God, guys! Yeah, I think now. No. That's better. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, guys, um, before we start, what type of movie do you remember watching? Which is the most memorable in terms of funny, exciting, emotional, etc.? So, I'll give you my favorite movie of all time was, you'll never guess. Don't laugh, guys. The Titanic. Yes, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Titanic, yes, Titanic, yeah, that's right. Um, how did you? How did you know, Osama? You remember, think, did you? I think it'd be if we go, it's, it's kind of the top list. If we go, last movie, I guess. You got it in one. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I didn't like this movie at all. Really? Oh, I loved it, Emmy. What What didn't you like about the movie? Uh, I don't like movies uh, about the sea. I don't like to saw any movies uh, about happens uh, events happen on the sea. Really? I don't like water. <laughs> you have like a phobia of water, right? Yes. Yeah, I have the same as well. I have a phobia of water. I get scared of going too far into the water. Definitely. Ooh, and wh what about you, Osama? Do you like the Titanic? Do you like watching it? Or? Well, I guess. Maybe Did like you cry? <laughs> <laughs> I cried. I cried. I was in tears. <laughs> well, I think I watched it twice. Uh, the first time when I was a little boy. Uh, I think yeah. it was uh, an incredible, I think, movie. Second time, I think, mm. uh, this year, I watched it again. Mm -hmm. Did you? I think, oh, my I God. Feel... <laughs> I think, yeah, I think uh, it's kind of a nice movie, I guess, and mm -hmm. uh, at the end, maybe, uh, maybe I feel so, I feel sorry for for the poor people. And, uh, I know. And, you know. Like, it is based on a true story, <laughs> you know, like, and it's not really kind of yeah. made up. So that's what makes it scary. Mm -hmm. And you know what, guys, they kind of, um, you know, it had it on because they were saying that, Nobody can sink the ship, not even God. And you know, <laughs> it happens. So you don't um, say that. So that's what happened. Yeah. Unfortunately, all these poor people, you know, they suffered. Um, and the Titanic, you know, was such a beautiful ship and it's gone down water. It's still there, the remains of it anyway. So yeah, so that was my favorable music. Let's listen I to think yours. Uh, can I have some? Maybe the yeah. scary moment when uh, when you have when you are hopeless, uh -huh. and then that's when you can uh, you can do anything or like that. You just that's that's a scary moment, I guess. Uh, it I is. In, at it, the end. Yeah, you kind of don't cheat death like that. Yeah, it's really really scary. Definitely. Yes, uh, waiting. <laughs> so long, yeah. I guess. You just don't say that. Like I think, yeah, that's that was a big mistake. And they didn't have enough lifeboats because they they were so sure a hundred percent that the, the the ship would not sink. So they also were short of the lifeboats, which was a big problem. And so yeah, okay, let's listen to yours, guys. Enough about me. Uh, so Emmy, what was your favorable movie of all time? Um, Can you remember? <laughs> I have a lots of movies. Yeah. Pick uh, one. One um, that's like, oh my god, wow. Yes. Uh, uh, the most movie that make me really cry it's uh, Malcolm X. Oh yes, I watched that movie. Yes. Oh, that was really it's a reality. Actually, it was. Uh, a very uh, true, uh, yes. uh, a, a true story. Yes, that's about, right. Uh, yes. <gasps> that was really sad. I was crying in that movie as well. Oh, that's so sad. He was such a great person, and they killed him. Ah. Yes. 
it's like all the good persons in the world, they're like kind of decreasing. <laughs> it's not fair. Like the good speakers, you know. And Osama, what about you? I think it's kind of hard to pick up one movie, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, maybe I like maybe uh, maybe uh, I think uh, uh, maybe drama. I think. Oh yeah, uh huh. Drama. Uh, I think uh, I'm Berkeley movie, I guess. Like mm -hmm. uh, Gandhi movie and uh, Malcolm X and that. Was. Yes, you like uh, their movies, yeah. Mm. Um, and, uh, what? <laughs> the delay is annoying. Yes. I'm talking, you're talking, I'm talking, you're talking. Um, what, but can you remember, like, what type of movie really got to you? It was like, oh my god, this movie is amazing. I will not forget this movie. I think, uh, I just maybe, uh, <laughs> I think Mary and Max. Uh, if you know, that's what Mary and Max. No, I don't think I've yeah. heard of that one. Mary yeah. and Max. No, I don't think so, actually. <laughs> Emma, well, have I you heard of that movie? Raphael, I hi. <laughs> yeah, Osama, you were saying something? You. Yeah, I think that right. maybe that's the first movie. I ever want to be crying. Oh. <laughs> oh, are, are, are you like me? Do you get emotional when you watch a movie? You get the tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was last year, I guess. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, bless you. Yeah, I think, you know, when I'm watching emotional movies, I get my tissue box and I just start getting the tissues out. <laughs> yeah, type of Osama. I think Emmy wants to get get the movie as well. <laughs> Yeah. She but wants there are lots to watch of tissues. It. Yes, I think so. If Osama cried, then I think we would cry as well, Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think it's kind of uh, sad, I think. It's sad, yeah. maybe. Oh. Me, I think. Animation. Oh, maybe. really? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, Raphael, how are you? We're just talking about movies. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> you got it, huh? We were talking about lots of sad movies. It's all depression now in this lesson. There's no excitement. Yeah. Um, so what about you, Raphael? What type of movie would you remember mm. that kind of touched your heart, you know? Mm. I enjoy it with a lot of movies, um, uh, but perhaps the most interesting for me was uh, The Godfather because it, it was related with a mafia yes. issue and um, there are a lot of feelings involved in that mm -hmm. in that action, in that movie uh, revenge, envy, uh, love, uh, sex, drugs and rock and roll too Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I watched that movie, yeah, it was yeah. really, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I had to kind of close my eyes, you know, when they were killing. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, God. But it is a classic movie. It is a classic movie. I don't think anybody would ever forget The Godfather. Definitely. Mm. That's a good choice, definitely, Raphael. It has a mixture of everything in there. Mm. There's another movie, guys. Did you guys ever watch Lord of the Rings? Yes. It's yes. So nice. I love that movie. Yes. Now, that's another good movie as well. Okay, so let's have a look at these type of movies that I have selected. Um, so these movies were rated uh, the most popular, okay? Um, so the, the second one, the first one, this is not a film. I haven't heard of this one before. Um, I, have you guys heard of Life of Pi? Did you guys watch this one? I think, yes, uh, I, heard, I heard about it. It's kind of, I think, but I never watched it. Yeah, it's a nice movie to watch yeah. in terms of quality. Yeah, it's but you a, have to, a three D yeah. movie with the life of a um, little child that make a travel with a tiger in a boat, isn't it? Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. And the tiger and him, you know, they kind of like <laughs> they want to kill each other, but you know, in the end, I think Raphael, they kind of reunite, don't they? They become close, is that right? I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, I think it's a metaphor uh, about life, about your first at the beginning of your life when you are trying to copy 
with a tiger and fighting with a tiger and in the end you can you can be friend of them of, mm -hmm. of it yeah of the, uh, very nice it is a nice movie I enjoyed that movie it was nice what about the Avengers guys do you guys go watch that one Avengers Ah, ah Osama does that mean ah no <laughs> <laughs> Is that like, oh my god, that's a crap movie, or no? Maybe some people like it, maybe because the action, the, the killing, I like that. Yeah. But the action is not my thing, I guess. It's not your cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. Cup of tea means it's not your good choice, then. This is what we say in the UK. It's not your cup of tea. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another idiom for you guys to remember as well. Not your cup of tea. Um. <laughs> I watched The Avengers. It was really good. I watched it with my husband, Alan. Raphael and Osami, you know Alan, don't you? So we watched it together in the cinema, and it was quite good to watch. I enjoyed it. Um, Raphael, did you watch that movie, Emmy? Uh, uh, hmm. No, I didn't watch it. No. And Raphael, did you watch that Be movie? Beauty Before Age, Emmy. I mean, Beauty Before Age. When... <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> Amy, you first. Beauty before age. Oh, I know. She, he's saying it because you're beautiful, so you get to go first. <laughs> no, it's an expression. <laughs> I yeah, don't know like, if Amy is beautiful, <laughs> but it's a, a, an idiom, I think. No? Yeah, In it's England, like so. ladies come first. Ladies yeah. come yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I didn't uh, watch it. Yeah. Okay. What about Skyfall, guys? Skyfall. Come on, you guys didn't watch this, James Bond? Uh, why you choose these movies? Uh, choose uh, a famous movies to describe. We are not uh, English people. <laughs> <laughs> but they, I didn't pick they these They don't uh, show us that in my in our channels. Really? Okay. Yes. What about the cinema, though? In the cinema showtime? We don't no? have cinema in Saudi Arabia. You don't have cinemas, mm. really? No. I think uh, you, you you have to pay maybe for for the cable, I guess. Yeah, of course you have to pay. Yeah. Same same applies to the UK as well. We have to pay extra, yeah. Um, but I mean, these are not my movies. Of course, these aren't my movies. I find these movies um they're the most popular movies selected by the the public. Uh huh. Yeah, so they're not my movies. No, I wouldn't pick these type of movies. No, no, no. <laughs> So, no, Emmy, these are not my movies. <laughs> um, but Skyfall, it's like another James Bond movie. Um, so I don't know if you guys have watched that before. Obviously not. Um, what about, okay, let me pick a movie that Opa, you guys may be. Sorry? Uh, uh, the 40, the 40. Let's have a look. Let me see. What movies you might have watched? Um. Did you guys maybe watch? Let's see, the Spider-Man movie, Amazing Spider-Man. No. Mm, the new one, no. Really? Oh my God, Twilight. Oh come on, guys! Mm -hmm. You guys have watched Twilight, right? Mm -hmm. Raphael, I don't think yeah. that would be your cup of tea, would it? Or Osama? Uh, it's, yeah, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. But I, I show I it for choice. Oh, you watched it, did you, Raphael? Mm. With my nephew, yeah, with my nephews and my and my cousin. But I, I, it's not my cup of it's tea. It's not your I cup think of it's tea. I know. Movie. Yes, yeah. you're like Alan. Alan was like, "Is that it?" <laughs> I dragged him to the cinema and I got him to watch it with me. Um, I liked it because I don't know. Mm. I, I'm just a girl. I feel like I like these type of movies. Um, Osama, did you watch this as well? Did you say? Yeah. I watched the uh, three parts of yes, but the last part I didn't watch it. Oh, the last part you have to watch it. It's pretty good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you can't miss it. Download see. it off the internet or rent it out on DVD. Uh, download it for sure. <laughs> yeah, download it. <laughs> and Emmy, did you watch Twilight? Yes, I watch him. Oh, thank I, God. I watch them all. Yes. Oh, good. I like it actually. Yeah. It's, it's my fine. cup of tea. Yes, your cup of tea. Oh, it's good we're using the British phrase. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have to use this in your next class. 
yes, it's not my cup of tea. And then the mm. teachers will be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the teachers, they probably know what that means. Because the British, they, we have different slangs. So the Americans, yeah. they have their own idioms. So we have our different idioms. So, yeah, that's good. You've learned a new idiom today. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the... Um, Discussion questions, guys. There are a lot of movies that we've no time to kind of go through them, um, and we've we've got to talk about the movies that we kind of remember watching as well, which are most memorable. So let's uh, quickly. I'll on screen share this. Okay, I'm not showing my video today, guys, because I have a bad skin problem. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know what's wrong with my skin. I'm getting like spots everywhere. God, it's just, oh. ah, I know. And you know when you have spots, it's like, ooh. No, <laughs> I'm not displaying myself. Okay, so let's have a look um, at these ones. Uh, okay. Okay, just bear with me, guys. Okay, so first question, guys. Um. What is changing the world right now? So if it's possible, guys, to kind of use your articles to support your answer. Um, anyone can answer this. It's just a random question. What is changing around the world right now? Uh, do you mean what's uh, the, uh, the thing that changed? Anything that changes the world that you think that has changed the world in a good way or bad way? I think it's a media. Mm -hmm. Okay. The most yep. things, uh, it's a media because uh, a lot of people watch it. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially when it's uh, interesting and not boring uh, uh, tools mm -hmm. or uh, uh, skills. I don't mm -hmm. know the word. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, make uh, it's uh, it's uh, make pe people to believe on that and uh, believe that don't believe this uh, as they told in the media, mm -hmm. especially yeah. in movies and in uh, news. And I hear that uh, a lot of people um, hear the no the news uh, not from the. TV shows, mm -hmm. uh, it's from uh, um, laughing TV shows about the news. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, they don't watch the real like CNN, uh, that's uh, channels. Yes. But they watch it as the laughing uh, pro uh, shows about the news. Mm -hmm. For example, Obama, he wants to fight Syria, la yeah. la la, and uh, 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 the the man is laughing and uh, say a uh, lots of love things about Obama and about uh, his ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know these shows? It's like talk shows in a way. Yes. Yeah, yes. talk shows. A, yes. Yeah, so basically you have an audience, they're there, and then you have two people talking. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yes. We have a lot of them, yeah. And love people. Uh, say uh, the news and laughing about it, mm -hmm. not just talking, uh, just one person and uh, he has uh, say the news and laughing about it mm -hmm. and describing yes. uh, at a, as a laughing thing, I know, but I didn't know the show's names, not yes. just like the talk show, I know the talk show, uh -huh. uh, an opera show, yes, yes. but uh, a lot of movies, no, uh, another uh, shows about uh, the news and laughing about the news. Yeah, it's like comedian talk yes, shows. Yes, yeah, comedian, comedian, yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yeah. This is our, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of them. Very good, Emmy. Yeah, good point there. Definitely, media is changing the world right now. That's a very good point. Anyone else want to no. jump I in? I think I think the more the most revolutionary. Um, tool that we have right now, in my opinion, is internet. Uh, internet is making a lot of changes in the world, in the mm -hmm. relationship between people, in connecting people um, with which is other. Also, uh, they it gives apps 
a lot of information in our mobile phone, or in our cell phone, and we are connected with everything. It's amazing that you, uh, 10 years ago, you can't believe that it, it this could be happened. Yes. Um, now you are, you have a lot of information in the, just in the moment, with your friend, with with the media too, with mm -hmm. a lot of information that you many times you don't need for anything. But yeah. my opinion, uh, it's becoming the most interesting and the most changeable uh, tool right now in the world. That's another good point, Rafael. Definitely, the internet is just amazing. Especially Skype, you know, when you have family that it's around the world, they're segregated mm. all over the world, mm. and you know, you just want to kind of see their face, and then all you do is just log in onto Skype, and then you can see them in person. Not in person, mm. literally, but over but, the internet yeah. in person. <laughs> so it's really good. No, it's definitely a good point there. Technology is just getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's quickly move on to the next question. Um, Osama, I'll give this one to you. Describe your favorite movie. Describe your favorite movie. With using the articles, please. Okay. <laughs> so you can I use that movie that we talked about before. If you want. I think uh, there's some movie, I think it's kind of a nice movie, I guess. Uh, the King Speech. Uh, you watch it. The King's Speech. No. Yeah. Can you kind of describe it to us? Just a brief explanation. This guy, I think, biography drama movie, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the main character, I guess, uh, is from royalty of kingdom of United Kingdom, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, the movie uh, and the. Uh, the event was was doing I guess was doing the second world, mm -hmm. second world 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 war I guess yeah, mm -hmm. and this uh, and this I think um, is, he has some problem with with his speech speaking to people mm -hmm. and how to this I think uh, uh, to the nation and he was stuttering and like that. Mm -hmm. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Um, have you guys watched that? Is it The King of Speech? No, anyone watch that movie? I haven't watched that movie. No. Yes, I uh, I don't watch it, but I watch the um, advert. It's not advertised. It's a uh, trailer. The, uh, yes, mm -hmm. a trial about it. Yes, it's very nice. I would like to watch it. It's very yeah. nice movie. So the King of Speech. Maybe I'll get my husband. It's to a British this movie. Oh, it's a British movie. Yes. Oh, I might uh, maybe have a look myself and see if the movie we can maybe try and watch it. Okay, thanks for that, Osama. <laughs> We're sharing movie uh, names now. Okay, next question, guys. What should children not see when watching movies? What should children not see when watching movies? What do you think, guys? Any guys have children? Could Raphael, you do you have children? Could you repeat? No, I have not. I have not anyone. But I couldn't understand the properly okay. the, the I, question I, I, because right I, I will say it again and um, so what should children not see when watching movies let me just put it in the chat box maybe that's better what they don't see what they shouldn't see what they are uh, not uh, allowed yeah uh, uh, mm. yeah you see uh, it mm. I think maybe uh, I think kind of had a movie I guess and, uh, yes mm -hmm. Because they because they, they will get an mm -hmm. <laughs> And you can see maybe uh, anything else. So we have horror. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, there are 
uh, violence movies and also uh, tragedies movies with a lot of death or violence in it, mm -hmm. uh, it they children shouldn't shouldn't mm -hmm. see. But uh, there are I am worried about another cartoons like I don't know the name, but they they in the cartoons very famous, very popular right now like uh, Simpsons or something like that. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of violence too, uh, words, uh, dirty words, um, uh, relationship between fathers and children with a lot of um, a lot of violence and mm -hmm. uh, fighting each other, insult them. Um, I don't, I, uh, um, many children try to imitate this yes. behavior. Um, mm -hmm. In my opinion, this is not a good idea. No, definitely not. No, definitely mm -hmm. not. And Rafi, that's a definitely, even cartoons, they have, uh, you know, bad scenes like what you said. Like, was my mm. son, okay, my son um, watches like a certain program every morning. Now, it's very educational. Okay, that program is okay. But then there's another program that comes after this program. And basically, there's a character in this program. He's very spoiled. Mm. He gives attitude to his parents. He mm -hmm. says, no, I don't want that. Instead of mm -hmm. saying, no, thank you, he says that the intonation is like very strong and violent, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, my son has picked this up. Yeah. So all of a sudden, he's got this word of no. <laughs> Anyone that asks him a question, he says, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> and I'm trying to drill it into his head to say, no, thank you no thanks and you know it's so difficult when you have children watching TV you have to be so careful because it's so you know you really the kids are our future I know you guys eventually you will have children and all but I mean because I have a son I know what it's like and it's just you have to be so careful really yes. yeah. so there you go guys that's an example of my <laughs> life <laughs> Daily life. <laughs> I know, so I have to maybe just ban TV altogether then. Maybe that's a good idea, not have TV. <laughs> hmm. Just watch it when the sun's at the nursery, and then it's all good. Okay, guys, so let's quickly move on to the assessment, okay? Um, do a little quick assessment on the grammar that we were just going through today, okay? Um, very easy assessment. Okay, so I'll say a noun, guys, and you must repeat it with the correct article. So the three articles are the, a, or an. Okay, so Osama, I will give you chair. Chair. Uh, a chair, the chair. Very, yeah, very good. Uh, Raphael, I will give you Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Oh, sorry. The Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Very good. And Emmy, uh, I will give you water. So if you can make a sentence um, with uh, water. Uh, yeah. uh, can I have a cup of water? Very good. Or, or a glass of water, yeah. Yes, a glass of water. Yeah. Or that's... Um, Cold water without a or an. Yes, very good, Emmy. Good, good. And I will give Osama horse. Horse. A horse. Yes. And uh, no. Not so horse. you use the three articles. <laughs> yeah. A horse. Ah, uh, uh, horse. Horse. It's working at the horse. Okay. So make a sentence. Make a sentence with using the articles. Any of the articles, yeah. Okay. Uh, I bought a house uh, from my friends. Okay. And it was. The, yeah. Keep going. The nice horse. The uh, the nice horse uh, won. Nice. Oh, very good. The nice horse one choice. Good. Excellent. And Raphael, I will give you million dollars. Million dollars. You're the lucky one today. 
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I had a million dollars, I would like to go to see all the movies that I haven't seen. Still, I haven't seen. Okay, okay. So you'd probably say I want a million dollars as well because with the a, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So don't forget to use your articles there for all of them. Okay, guys, so that's it for the assessment um, today. You all have passed. Very good. Um, so it's time to kind of wrap up the lesson. Unfortunately, I have another class next if you guys want to join me. You're more than welcome to join okay. me. And, um, yeah, so if, if I don't see you guys in the next lesson, then I will see you tomorrow hopefully as well. I'm going to be doing a games class tomorrow, so you're more than welcome to join me as well. Okay? Perfect. Okay, guys, you take care of yourselves Bye. now. Bye. 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 Bye.